Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in this session, uh, we are going to discuss some comparison based questions. All the questions which I'm going to discuss in this session are uh, from the previous year Bank PO papers. So before we proceed for this session, I would recommend you to attend the basic sessions. So you'll be conceptually clear about the basics of numbers, right? In fact, uh, I can say basics of arithmetic. Right? Because there are various facts which should be cleared in your mind to uh, solve the comparison based questions. Right? I take a very simple example. Now suppose a statement is given to me that is A is greater than B. And I have two options that is x and y x is what a minus b and y is what a plus b right now i have four options that is x is greater than y x is equal to y x is less than y or can't say these are the four options available now a is greater than b that is given to us and we have to compare between x and y right now the very obvious thing is maximum students mark that a plus b will be definitely greater than a minus b right but before we do like this uh, we have to be very clear that uh, in this case it's actually not given that a and b are which type of numbers maybe both of them are positive maybe both of them are negative maybe one is positive and other is negative right so you cannot draw any conclusion whether a minus b will be greater or a plus b will be greater right suppose i take the value a and b as 3 and minus 4 right now in this case if a minus b i, I just do so 3 minus minus 4 it will be 7 and a plus b will be minus 1 right so in that case um, x will be greater than y okay uh, a is greater than b that's given over here so x will be greater than y but if i take a as 3 and b as 2 then in that case what would happen a minus b will be 1 and a plus b will be 5 right so we are not given about which type of number a and b are so we cannot come to any conclusion whether x is greater than y x is equal to y x is less than y or what right so we cannot say anything about x and y right so we have to be very careful generally it's our habit to assume the numbers as positive right we are just habitual of uh, doing that right so be careful while you attempt comparison based questions let's take the questions from the previous year papers now now friends uh, let's see this question in the following question two questions numbered one and two are given you are to solve both the equations and give answer now we have to find out whether x is greater than y greater than equal to y less than y or x is less than equal to y or the equation uh, like the relationship cannot be established before we proceed further we need to uh, solve the equations right so this is 25 plus 9 34 34 minus 4 is 30 so it is 30 by x square is equal to 12 by x 6 5 za and 6 2 za now the very first mistake which maximum students make over here that this x is cancelled by the square right so this is actually a mistake right because as of now this is a quadratic equation and if you cancel this x by the square you will be converting this to a linear equation right as of now there are two values of x and if you eliminate this uh, square you'll be getting uh, this single value of x right so do not never never cancel like this okay so i just do it cross multiplication 5x is equal to 2x square our uh, friends one more important thing over here is it's 2x square minus 5x is equal to 0 that means what I am taking x is common so 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 or 5 by 2 now the important thing over here is I am getting the value of x as 0 right 0 or 5 by 2 but 0 is also a value now what happens over here since we are having x in the denominator now uh, 
since we have done the cross multiplication but initially we were having x in the denominator right so if x is there in the denominator x can never be uh, zero right because if x is zero that means the denominator is zero we will be ending up with in uh, the undefined and the term will be undefined right if x is equal to zero it will be the term will be i just write term will be undefined right so we have to discard the value of x is equal to zero okay we have to discard it x cannot be zero right so we got a single value of x that is 5 by 2 but we discarded the value of x is equal to zero because the de in the denominator x cannot be zero the denominator cannot be zero but we have we are not going to cancel this x square by this x okay so th there is a difference between the two okay so be very very clear if if i had some other term over here uh, we would not, would not get x is equal to zero in that case it, it would have been valid right so getting me now we got the value of x as 5 by 2 or i can say 2.5 right now i just solve the value get the value of y from this equation so y square is equal to 9.84 minus 2.64 minus 0.95 so it's 4 minus 4 0 minus 5 so it's 5 negative 1 so 8 minus 1 7 minus 6 is 1 and 1 minus uh, 9 is minus 8 so it's 2 then 8 minus 2 is 6 so y square is equal to 6.25 right now y will be what 2.5 or minus 2.5 this is the second mistake which maximum students make that is y square is 6.25 so they take y is equal to just 2.5 forget minus 2.5 because the square of minus 2.5 will also be 6.25 right and we are not given over here that y will be a positive value right so we, we have to be clear that y can be either 2.5 or minus 2.5 in any case if it is given to you that y is greater than 0 then you have to discard this value right but in this case we have to accept both the values of y now we have values of y as 2.5 and minus 2.5 and values of x is 2.5 we are discarding x is equal to 0 and that's actually very important though it should have been mentioned in the question but in the paper it was not at all mentioned but we cannot carry on with this it has to be discarded right so y is 2.5 or minus 2.5 and x is equal to 2.5 right now what's the comparison between two is x is greater than y not in every case when y is equal to 2.5 x is equal to y right but we are not clear about or we don't have the unique value of y so we cannot make this comparison either x is equal to y or we cannot say right so this is the correct option if x is equal to y or either one, uh, one of the things will be true so if x is equal to y or the relationship cannot be established because all other options are not correct okay Now friends, the next query arises over here is that if we are discarding the value of x as 0, that in that case we are left with the single value of x that is 2.5, right? So whether y is 2.5 or minus 2.5, x is constant at 2.5. That means either x is equal to y or x is greater than y, right? So x is greater than or equal to y, right? That x is greater than y or x is equal to y right so this option also we are having as option b b that is x is greater than equal to y okay so finally i'll be accepting this x is greater than or equal to y as the correct option okay Uh, friends uh, um, we had a great discussion good discussion on the, this particular problem uh, taking various aspects of the numbers right uh, in the paper uh, in the question paper 
this was not at all given that x is x is not equal to zero so the problem is solved in the various books and uh, in various places and they are considering x as zero as the uh, they are accepting the value of x as zero so the maximum of the people are getting the two values of x that is x is equal to zero or five by two right so we are having two values according to them uh, various books i'm just mentioned going to mention over here so in that case the relationship cannot be established so they have ended up with this uh, choice right but according to me x is greater than y or x is um, equal to y we have this option right because we can establish the relationship because we have to discard x is equal to zero right so finally but the bit ambiguous question is this so maybe there is a printing error in the question which uh, which is not uh, mentioned over here that is x is not equal to zero right so let's take the next question now but i hope you might have understood the things which we should be careful about now friends i have this question the statement one three raised to five plus seven cube by three so what's three raised to five that's i just calculate the value of x cube that's 3 raised to 5 is 243 plus 7 cube is 343 and this is by 3 so it's 6 8 and 5 so it's 586 by 3 the value of x cube right now I just take the cube root afterwards what's the value of y is 17 minus 7 that is 10 y cube is equal to 15 into 2 that's 30 so y cube is equal to 3 now x cube is 586 by 3 and y cube is 3 so definitely x cube is much much bigger than y cube that means x is bigger than y right because both of them are cubic terms so the cube of positive number is positive and the cube of negative number is negative right since x cube is also positive y cube is also positive that means x and y both of them would have been positive right so we don't have to consider the negative values of x and y so fairly we are coming to a conclusion that x cube is greater than y cube that means x is greater than y right And uh, just mind it, do not waste your time in taking cube roots. If the number, if uh, x is greater than y, then x cube will be definitely greater than y cube if both of them are positive. I hope you are clear. Now let's see this question. Uh, first of all, I just solve the value of x, get the value of x. So just take the square. So it's root x by 16 into 16 is equal to 144 by x raised to 3 by 2 now if I cross multiply x raised to 3 by 2 and x raised to half root x is x raised to half so it will be x square is 144 into 16 into 16 that means x is equal to 12 into 16 or minus 12 into 16 so it's precisely 192 or minus 192 right so we got the two values of x now we have to find out the value of y so it's what it's a y raised to 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 that means precisely it's y so it's i just solve it over here y into 3 1 0 4 is equal to 16 y square right now this is So it's 194 so 194 y is equal to y square again this y and this square cannot be cancelled right in that case we will be eliminating one value of y that's zero right so what i'll be doing just see it y square minus 194 y is equal to zero so y y minus 194 is zero so y is equal to zero or 194 right now i will i'm not going to discard the value as zero because in this case y is not there in the denominator right so you understood the thing that it's um, not healthy to cancel this y square from this y right now we are getting two values of y one is zero and other is 194 and we are getting two values of x one is 192 and other is minus 192 right so 
we cannot come to a conclusion whether x is greater than y or less than y or less than equal to y or greater than equal to y because various combinations we are getting if it is 192 it is 194 then y will be greater if it is 192 it is 0 then uh, x will be greater if it is 0 it is minus 1 by 2 in that case y is greater than x so various combinations are being formed so we cannot come to a conclusion since we do not have the unique values of x and y right so be very very clear about it and most important step is this right if you miss the value of y is equal to 0 suppose you missed this portion right so you ended up with y is equal to 194 so in any case maybe x is 192 or minus 192 y is definitely greater than x right so in this case uh, if y is greater than x you would have marked this answer but actual answer is we cannot say about their relationship anything about their relationship right so the most important step is this which uh, maximum students are making mistake over here right friends uh, i'm emphasizing a great on certain points so you be very very clear on them okay now let's take the next problem now here we have two quadratic equation so we have to solve them to get the values of x and y so 3x square minus 19x plus 28 is equal to 0 now 28 into 3 is uh, 84 so we have to break 19 that is 12 into 7 so it's 3x square minus 12x minus 7x plus 28 is equal to 0 right so 3x is common x minus 4 minus 7 is common x minus 4 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 7 by 3 or 4 so we got the two values of x in this case right now similarly we can calculate the value of uh, y 16 5s are 80 that means 10 and 8 the factor breakup of 18 y so it's 5 y square minus 10 y minus 8 y plus 16 is equal to 0 5 y y minus 2 minus 8 y minus 2 is equal to 0 so y is equal to 8 by 5 or 2 right so we got the two values of y and two values of x now if we make comparison x is equal to 7 by 3 or 4 right see 4 is greater than both of them right 8 by 5 and 2 right so in that case x is greater than y now if uh, if 7 by 3 is also greater than both of them then we'll end up marking x is greater than y so 7 by 3 is definitely greater than 2 because it's 2 point something now we have to check whether 7 by 3 is greater than 8 by 5 or not so here it's 8 by 5 and here it's 7 by 3 so 3 I have already told you how to compare 3 8s are 24 and 5 7s are 35 right so 7 by 3 is greater than 8 by 5 so both the values of x are greater than both the values of y so in any case maybe y is this or this or x is this or this x will always be greater than y right so x is greater than y okay I hope you are clear now friends uh, let's take this question 16x square plus 20x plus 6 we can take 2 as common so the equation will be reduced to 8x square plus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0 now 8 3s are 24 so we can make the breakup as 6 and 4 so 8x square plus 6x plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 so it's 2x so it's 4x plus 3 plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So I just take 1 as common over here. So x is equal to minus 1 by 2 or minus 3 by 4, right? So we got the two values of x. Similarly, this equation, we can take 2 common as well. So it will be 5y square plus 19y plus 12. That is equal to 0. So 12 fives are 60. So we can make the breakup of 19 as 15 and 4. 
सो फाइव वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फिफ्टीन वाई प्लस फोर वाई प्लस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट्स फाइव वाई वाई प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर वाई प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर बाय फाइव और इट्स माइनस थ्री राइट नाउ वी हैव टू मेक द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई ना माइनस हाफ इज ग्रेटर देन माइनस फोर बाई फाइव एंड माइनस थ्री बोथ एज वेल एंड सिमिलरली माइनस थ्री बाई फोर इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन बोथ ऑफ देम सो वेदर एक्स इज माइनस हाफ और माइनस थ्री बाई फोर और वाई इज माइनस फोर बाई फाइव और माइनस थ्री इन एनी केस इफ यू मेक एनी पेयर एनी पेयर दिस और दिस दिस और दिस दिस और दिस और दिस और दिस इन एनी केस एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वाई राइट सो वी आर वेरी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट सो एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वाई ओके Now, friends, uh, let's see this question further. We have a set of quadratic equations. X square minus 11x plus 24 is zero. So we have to calculate the value of x first of all. So it's x minus 8, x minus 3. We can directly factorize it. It's x minus 8, x minus 3 is zero. So x is equal to 8 or 3, right? Similarly, we can calculate the value of y. It's nine two zar eighteen, so it's six and three. The breakup of nine, so it's two y square minus six y minus three y plus nine is equal to zero. So it's two y y minus six minus sorry three minus three y minus three is zero. So y is equal to three by two or three. So we have to make the comparison between x and y now. If x is eight, it's greater than both of them. If x is three, in that case, it is greater than three by two or equal to three. So x is either greater than y or x is equal to y, right? If we make the various combinations, okay. So x is greater than equal to y, right? Now we have this question. First of all, let's calculate the value of x. It's x cube into thirteen is equal to x square into two forty seven. So it's thirteen into nineteen. So it's x cube is equal to nineteen x square. So I just take x square as common. So x minus nineteen is zero. So x is equal to zero or nineteen, right? Similarly, we can calculate the value of y as well. So it's y one by three divided by y raised to two by three is equal to two ninety four by fourteen. I'm sorry, it is divided by over here, so it will be multiplied. Right, so y raised to one by three into y raised to two by three, so it's y is equal to twenty one. Okay, now x is equal to zero or nineteen. In both the cases, y is greater than x. Right, so x is less than y. I hope you are clear. Now, in this problem, twelve into four that's forty eight minus twelve that is thirty six. So we have. Thirty-six is equal to x raised to ten by seven plus four by seven. That is fourteen by seven. So it's x square. So x is equal to six or minus six, right? And x cannot be zero because it is coming in the denominator. That we have to be careful. Uh, anyways, we are not getting any zero values of x. We are getting just two values. That is six or minus six. Similarly, y cube is equal to nine ninety-nine min minus seven eighty-three. So that's two one six. That means y is equal to six, right? Now, if we make comparison between x and y, so y is equal to x if x is equal to six, or y is is greater than uh, x if x is equal to minus six. So precisely, y is greater than equal to x. Y is greater than equal to x, right? Now let's uh, do this question. First of all, let's calculate the value of x. 
x is equal to minus it's 402 by 500 right so x square is 402 by 500 right similarly we can calculate the value of y so y is equal to it's 200 by 360 that's y square right so just try to get some approximate value of x i just take it as zero so it's 4 by 5 so x is equal to minus of root 4 by 5 or root 4 by 5 similarly y is equal to root 5 by 9 or minus of 5 by 9 right now we have the two values of x over here and the two values of y over here now if we make the comparison further we'll be getting problem because sometimes x is greater greater and sometimes y is greater if you make the comparison between these two so y will be greater if you make the comparison between these two so x will be greater so we cannot come to a conclusion since we do not have the unique values of x and y and both the values of x are not greater than y and both the values of y are not greater than both the values of x right so precisely we cannot um, conclude so the relationship cannot be established okay in this question 17 square plus 114 divided by 18 17 square is 289 plus so it's uh, 114 divided by 18 is what 57 by 9 or I can say it's precisely 19 by 3 right so that's the value of x okay similarly we can calculate the value of y as well so 26 square is what 676 minus 18 into 21 18 into 1 Two are 36 and three, 378. So, three seventy six. The difference is three hundred and three hundred and so it's two ninety eight, right? So that's the value of y. Okay, and the value of x is equal to is actually nineteen by three. We have to add so it's two eighty nine plus it's 6 1 by 3 so 6 plus 0 0.33 so it's precisely 289 plus 6 that is 295.33 right so we got the value of x as 295.33 and we got the unique value of y as 298 since we are getting unique values of x and y we can make the comparison easily so x is less than y right so uh, friends, we'll be taking more problems on uh, comparison in the next session. Bye-bye.